Good evening, Zonk. How are you? I hope everyone enjoyed that song. I'm very well. And ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, good evening, if you Zonk. Are How are you? I hope everyone enjoyed that song. Comfortably, we shall begin. <laughs> Excellent. Right. Um, just want to get the elephant in the room out of the way. Um, not literally the elephant, um, as my missus would not appreciate that. But um, I have had my hair cut, and it's a rather short uh, barnet. So um, if anyone. Oh, blimey, we'll come to that in just a second. If anyone um, ha has any comments, please get them out of the way now, because I don't want to be answering uh, haircut-based comments all day. Uh, Zonk, you got anything you want to throw at me? Uh, I do. Uh, Ron and Linda are delighted to thank uh, Thoatrix for three months in a row subscription, mate. So you're amongst, you're amongst the elite there, my friend, and thank you very much for that. Appreciate your support. Yeah. Thank you ever so much. Thank you. That should have superseded my haircut rant. Absolutely should have superseded it, but yeah, um, thank you very much. Uh, Geeks War Gaming, I thought that said Greeks War Gaming, I haven't got my glasses on, but yeah, Geeks War Gaming, thank you very much. Um, right, um, good evening is pretty presumptuous. Um, my pseudonym, I'm, defa I'm defaulting that your standard evening is probably good, having met you in the chat on a number of occasions, you come across as a default good guy. Um, what, Zunk, what do you want to see this evening? Um, vampires. Or Wood Elves is the uh, the first. Vampires. Um, you want to see vamps. All right, let's lob some vamps well, in. Well, just not Wood Elves. I like vampires. <laughs> just not Wood Elves. Okay. Um, game two this evening will be my UK BBL team in action. Uh, and Sudo, thank you very much for the 10 bits. Um, we like cheers oh. here. Cheers, Sudo. And I was watching one of our uh, videos from a couple of weeks ago. One of the early ones you, you first started watching. And you had some absolutely solid gold humour, some of which we missed because there was lots of stuff going on. <laughs> so sincere apologies about that. And retrospective viewing, oh, frightfully witty, frightfully witty. So thank you for that. Yeah. Uh, Elder Reno, who told me about that song, Have a Guess. What's he saying? Who told me about uh, Every, everyone's favourite Listen, song? I, I'm, I'm, I'm music director now, so <laughs> we're not having any more Smashing Pumpkins or We Will Rock oh, You to the Queen. We, we'll be playing what I want, so uh, All right. I know, oh. I know, Zunk knows what's best. <laughs> oh dear. Right, here we go. First game of the evening is 1270 um, Undead, uh, coached by Broken Face, and he is 501, so he's fairly competent. Let's have a look at his roster. Well, he's pair of old Levi's. Fantastic. And, uh, well, you've got to be nice to me now, because uh, you now know I've got a choice. Oh, gentle, uh, shush you. Shush. <laughs> oh, that's not fair. Yeah. So, um, yeah. This, this is the last show This is the last show featuring Zonk, unfortunately, because he's off to uh, bigger and better things now. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, Billy Big Bollocks with his new haircut. Oh, <laughs> Hello, oh, John. Dear. You all right, mate? Um, <coughs> was, Quick, quick round the grounds. Uh, Bush Ranger, hello, buddy. Pseudonym, uh, good afternoon, possibly. Dudorino, hello. Geeks War Gaming, hello, mate. Uh, Dodgen, hello, mate. Spuddy, Huanchi, and of course, Wattrix. Absolutely. Uh, and Huanchi uh, has said, uh, Andy, do I realise we're playing either, each other in OCC? Fucking do I ever. I, was look I, I saw that one and went, right. I'm having a slice of that. <laughs> I'm not going anywhere, Sudo. He's just being <laughs> so, Zunk was poached. Jealous. He's, he was poached. He was poached. I was unfaithful. <laughs> by, one, by one of the bigger streamers. It made me sad. Um, well, it, it you know, it, it's old sage can turn a young chap's head, you know, and those rugged <laughs> good looks and that European calm demeanour. I reckon it's the beard. If I grew a beard, would you stay? Oh, you don't need to grow a beard. I've got one. Yeah, but like a goatee beard. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> Turning that one time be good, but hey, never mind. Let's oh, not go on that. Fucking hell. And there you go. That's your free shot for this evening about that. Oh, Sorry dude. I'm half an hour late. I was getting my hair cut. It doesn't <laughs> look like it took that long, mate, to be honest. <laughs> it, you should have seen what we had to use. Oh, my word. Oh, dear. Oh, it was bad. It was bad. Uh, yeah, Waitrix, he was on the Sage's channel, apparently, by all accounts. It went really well, so um, well worth going and checking the broadcast out when Sage puts it on YouTube. 
I, I, I don't know. I, it was it was all very strange. It was, um, yeah, it was different. Um, I'd, I'd do it again. Um, it, 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 I think it's like, um, <laughs> oh, how, how how to put it? You, here, you got free reign to say anything whenever, and I was really kind of conscious there that, that I'm guesting, and I, I didn't want to sort of you know spill red wine on the white carpet, that kind of thing, you know. <laughs> so it's a bit like when you do GCBC, that you're there sort of being on best behaviour, quietly sitting in the background. Oh, uh, okay. Whereas what we did there is you just, you got to do whatever you like here. Yeah. Whatever you like. But yeah, I think, I think it'll happen again. Good. Um, ba -da, ba -da, ba -da, ba -da. I can't believe I'm having to do my own advertising. This is shocking. I've done it. Have you? Well, did OCC UK Bumble. Uh, there we go. Right. Well, I've done them all. I just, I, I've gone about, I think I've got about eight Discord channels. I just went through them all. And... Well, my, my post will be quite old now because I did them at half six when you said you were turning up. So, <laughs> you know. Which, which well, do you want to say? Right. Do we want to kick or receive? Do we want to kick I or think... receive? I think we're going to. Shit, I don't know. Oh, we'll receive, won't we? Well. We'll play against. I've forgotten. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what I want to do. I don't know what I want to do. Um. Are you like Samsung that now has been cut off? He's now become terrible at blood bowl. Probably. Where are we? Oh, where All your it? blood bowl strength's gone. <sighs> um. I I chose to receive. Fuck it. Why not? Oh, two. We've got we've got fame. That's good. Where's um? What's the ETA on the new plasma orb then? Oh, we haven't ordered it. But then, because we're away all week, um, um. we haven't we haven't ordered it. Um, um. I, I, don't, I don't like I don't I don't like to criticise my good lady because um, she does an awful lot of good work, um, but um, she hasn't sorted one out. Uh, Suda, you're, you're welcome to pop by into chat and say hello whenever you like, mate. It's an open door. It's only because we haven't found the lock, but yes, it is an open door. Uh, f f fusion dancing not required. That's a bit more <laughs> loop pack than us. Yeah, we, the only banging tunes we play at the beginning. The rest of it, no. Yeah, but <laughs> we, we tend to play quality music. Well, so I can't be critical of Lupac's terrible taste in music. Probably the tinnitus is overwhelming. Um, McNaughton, no, 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 no. A Ava's uh, Delilah, because um, obviously she did the haircut thing. That works much <laughs> better as a, an analogy. Right, what's happening here then? Um, I'm just wondering if there's something absolutely outrageous on. And I think there is. Hang on. What, you want to surf for I want to surf a white. No, no, I want to surf a white. Hang on. Why would you do that? I know, I know. It, it, it's, so, it's so good, it made me smile. One, two, three, four, five. Go from there, walk in there. there Hello, Hawkeye. There. Uh, Hawkeye there. the Thrall is alive, mate. He's got wrestle as well. Um, he's thriving. Um, Watchix, uh, I'll, I'll be honest, that's Dragon genius. Ball is... That's, that's so good, it's genius. Oh, that's so good. That is such a... Sorry, sorry, I'm, I'm excited because it's so good. You carry on, there you go. I'm, right, I'm, I'm going to try and execute it now. Um, you, you finished? You yeah, finished? yeah I'm, I'm done. I'm so pleased with myself. <laughs> oh, just Watchix and I just happened to be having a conversation. You butted <laughs> in like a simple-minded horse when the mood takes you. Yeah. Um, did I know that was a reference to Dragon Ball? I'm aware of Dragon Ball, and in case Fast is watching, I, I know what it is, but I didn't really watch it, I'll be honest. So no, I, I didn't get the reference. Was it a good? Uh, Poopy says, um, for less experienced coaches, can you say just generally when it's good to receive and when you prefer to kick the ball? Um, that's a good question. Um, is it your go, and do you want to answer this, or shall I have a go? 
You're going there. You're going there. I'm going to be busy for the next few minutes thinking about he's, stuff. He's 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 doing stuff, so I'll, I'll have a go. Um, when you want to receive is normally if you've got a, uh, a team that's capable of doing some damage, so that you are looking for the th three line of scrimmage hits and a blitz to get the boot in first. Um, so you will tend to find strength based teams with some death about them will usually usually um, want to receive um, for everybody else it kind of depends often elves um, if they fancy that they're strong on defense maybe have a wizard okay. maybe have an L drill will sometimes kick um, those two it's something to go there Oh, Excel! We made that clear last night. This is this is a, a guesting arrangement, not not a not a um, abandonment. Goodness me, no. Okay, right. Um, I am going to just just talk through. Please don't get perfect defense. Fuck for that. Right. Hey, reroll. Yeah, she's very good. Very very good. Right. What do I want to do? So I want to surf that white, and I want to do it without hitting the white or moving it. It will come down to one hypnogaze. If it works, brilliant. If it fails, I can't do it. Um, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and surf the uh, white by filling in the two squares, um, or the square in front of the ghoul, the square to the left of the ghoul, the square to the left of the white, the square in front of the white, <coughs> which means that there's four players all around the white, one in front, one behind, one beside of each side. Um, and then you blitz from diagonally behind the ghoul, um, and you'll notice that the white is then boxed in and you have to chain push into the white twice and I'm going to use the ghoul because the ghoul um, has dodge so it's less likely to fall over um, and I then get to push into the white who then ends up on the side of the pitch and if I've filled in the squares correctly um, I will be able to just push him out so let's see if we can do it See, even now you've explained it, I'm still not clear what's going to happen. <laughs> Let, let's have a look. Okay. Um, right. Pseudo, um, yes, that's a fair point. Exactly so. Um, this hypnogaze has to work. If it doesn't work, the whole thing's off. Let's cut the whole thing off. It worked. And oh, sh shit, I'm in the wrong good. square. Ah! I'm in the wrong bastard square. Oh, it's ruined now. Um, it, it is, sort of. Shit. Gruff, good evening. We are good evening. Morbid Orbits, good evening. Oh, bollocks. I'm in the wrong square. Well, that's not the climax, wasn't it? <laughs> All right, okay. Well, I can still... All right, I can do it. It's just much harder. Um... Oh, I should have hit. I should have hit node from one square to the right because walking into the square in front of the ghoul now is hard work. Although, although I could do this, this would work. Hello, Ablern. Hello, Ramaset. Fiction. Hello, Mike. Oh, get in. Get in. Uh -huh. You can see, you can see it no, across uh, Wormstalk of the Ghoul's face. It's like, what's going on here? My screen's dunk gone. Oh, this is, if this works, this is absolutely my favourite thing I've ever done with vampires. We will want you to mention the troll throwing a goblin again. I don't know what's he talking about. He's being helpful. Hang on. Oh, I see what you're doing. Right, I see what you're doing. How the fuck did you spot that? That's really obscure what you're doing now. Honestly, you're not right in the head. This this is like enter the matrix level of nonsense what you're about to do here. Oh. Uh the ATM eight Ablin's card. Oh god mate, that can't be fun. So, so what do you do then? Do you have to get in touch with the bank to say, give us it back? Don't fall over, silly. 
Little is that. Count slowly to ten. Mm. Hurry up, four seconds. I know, I've seen it. Oh, you! <laughs> oh, that's outrageous. Harsh. Oh, that's a <sighs> shame. But still, impressive nonetheless. You realise, of course, that these guilds just to come down, damn pick up the ball, fuck off, and score on us, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, but I don't care about that because I just enjoyed that. That is my favourite I thing I have done. I um, about that. Um, we'll get the ball back in a bit. Um, what we've just done there... <laughs> that, that was impressive. Do you want to... Oh, Tomo. Tomo, what's happening? Ooh, that was close, wasn't it? Well, that's the wizard out of the way. Wow. Yeah, that uh, that really so, was that was a David Blaine level of wizardry. That not never mind your Tommy Cooper, Paul Daniels nonsense. Yeah. So, oh, wow. um, I need. I was so excited about the whole possibility of it. Uh, I didn't execute it quite as well as I could have done. Um, I had to use one I, more one more player. Close enough. Close enough. Do you want to clip that and stick it on YouTube's as yeah. um, al almost spectacular? Don't don't forget. Do, do no, that. No, no, no. Write that, that. That is good. Please write that one down. Well, I don't need to. It's the first thing that happened in the game. So mm -hmm. <laughs> you're not going to remember now, are you? Yeah, I will. I will. Um, okay. He's going to struggle to surf the the vamp um, because he can't get anything to it. Uh, I'm great, thanks, Kales. How are you? <laughs> and that, that was a hell of a fireball. Quite agree, Mike. Yeah, it was. It was. And I suspect his blitz is going to come from this white. The wrestle. Uh, to, to be fair, Pseudo, the, the being two vamps down was as a result of the fireball, which could have happened at any time, really. Mm. So, you know. Yeah, what did he get? Three. He got three removals out of it, didn't he? Because he, or was it two? Two removals because he cash. He knocked out one vamp and killed the other. But, yeah. yeah, Tomo Tomo died, but fortunately Florence was on hand to uh, give him a quick transfusion, and he's he's absolutely fine now. Looks mm -hmm. fine. His his marble skin is gr glowing grey as usual, so he's fine. Sun disc got knocked out, but then that you know Sun disc does, doesn't he? Yeah. Um, wife and, we had a, and uh, <sighs> Zing got stunned, but Zing's okay. Oh, I think Kelsey was talking to Wewa. Uh, they've really hit it off, them two. I just smell romances in there. Well, that turned out okay. We really do, we do really, really, really need to get Bush Ranger and Sundis blocked, don't we? <laughs> great, yes. Yeah, we do. We absolutely do. What's that skill? Has he got pass on that skill? He has. Wow. Who are you looking at? The the ghoul that's two squares behind the furthest most forward uh, vampire. Oh, blimey, he does. Corpse beetle the ghoul. Would you take pass on a ghoul as a first skill? I, I, I would say almost definitely no for me. No, I wouldn't. Oh, we get to, I get to surf the other one. All right, well, first, first things first. Bye-bye. <laughs> Thanks for playing, but it's time you went. Hello, Billy. You right, buddy? Yes, go on, get in. Ooh, proper gut. Now, is he broken? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Stayed out. Oh, hang on. Oh no, he stood up. Oh, so it's that. No, it's that bug no. thing. He is in the casualty box, but he stood up. But it doesn't count. Fair it's enough. Weird, weird bug, isn't it? Still got one. Bush Ranger, you are well dodgy, mate. You are well dodgy, and it's a credit to you. <laughs> right. Um. So, we need to get the ball back. That's got to be a thing. Um, even if just for a turn or so. It is only a 3 plus to pick it up. 
Um, well, even beyond that, Sudo, if you take pass on a ghoul, it's one of the skills to give him to make him a reliable um, passer of the ball. And because they don't have strength access or passing access, you're relying on any other doubles if you want strong arm or accurate or any of the other things traditionally associated with throwing the ball. And with agility three, all you've got is basically a bad human or orc thrower who's a bit faster with dodge but has no uh, no really other be other benefit. I, I just wouldn't do it. Un Undead are fast enough with the four ghouls that a running game is absolutely viable and they're good at it. So I, I wouldn't try and develop a passing game with, with Undead. I mean, hypothetically, if he's super lucky and started rolling agility and more doubles, then you could turn him into a good passer, but unlikely. Oh, come on. That's a little dice. unfortunate. That's, yeah, that's just that is just that's just frustrating. That is frustrating. Oh well. Yeah, it's just frustrating. I can't anything about it. Because um, the rest of that play was the vampire that's been marked by the mummy goes and picks the picks the ball up, hands it to the bludge mum, uh, vampire who fucks off and scores. Um, that. That was a pretty reasonable play. That yeah, it was. Yeah. You were looking. You were looking for a push there. Yeah. And so yeah. One in eighty-one. That that with a with a reroll that that didn't work really very unfortunate. Yep. Um, if you get doubles on a ghoul, um, guard is guard. a very common and, and wise pick. That mobility on a guard piece is is very nice. It synergizes awfully well. I, I agree. I, I like uh, guard on ghouls if you get double. Yeah. Uh, no, he's he's not going to surf a vamp. He's going to pick the ball up and score. That literally that one, uh, that turnover is um, uh, probably going to cost me a touchdown. Unless of course he rolls badly as well, because he might. It might just even itself up. Probably won't. Vinny, how how did you play? Um... Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, I understand. I reread your message now. You know, not a fan of Total War, mate. I'm, I'm, I am going to play it and just uh, keep this amongst yourselves as it's early days yet. But there is a strong possibility that um, we might go with uh, maybe once a week playing um, Total War Warhammer 2 co op on the stream. Mm. Andy. Yeah, yeah, we might see how it goes kind of thing just to sort of dip our toe in the water of just that kind of thing um well in uh, in other news folks um andy's taking ava away for the, the, the a bit of a holiday aren't you mm. where are you going uh we're going to bergen in norway um um and we're going to go and play in um, a tabletop uh, league. You're going to spoil that girl, aren't you? <laughs> You're taking her with you? Yeah, yeah, she's coming with us. Oh. Is Verbal going? Because you don't want to let your girlfriend yeah. near Verbal. Silverton no, no. devil that he is. Oh, no, no. He'd, uh, oh, please drop this. This this would really save our bacon here. Yeah, he's I'll dropped it. What. Not Nuffle, Nuffle giveth and Nuffle taketh away, yeah. Yeah, he's not helping us a bit. Well, no, he, no, that's not true. He is. Is he helping us? Yes. Is it? Is it still frustratingly frustrating? Yes. Um. 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 Right. How the fuck do I get out of this? <laughs> we was astounded that you've managed to talk your girlfriend into going to a blood bowl tournament and dressing it up as a holiday. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Well, he's he's thinking as a married man. He's thinking, how come I never get away with this kind of shit? <laughs> we was lucky that he gets to get out the toilet by himself. Hello, Bob Face. You're right, mate. I can't imagine what that might be. We were. Anyway, so whilst you're off in Bergen, um, Warhammer Two is out on Thursday. If um, you decide which race beforehand we want to play, I'll have a a bit go of the uh, the one player just to get used to the new 
mechanics so that um, we do come around to play it. Should you have any questions, there's a fighting chance I'll be able to answer them. So if you had the choice, um, first of all, how, how much do you know about um, uh, Total War? Just the uh, races, really. No, but have you played it much, or are you completely new? Uh, hang on a sec. One, two, All right. three, I'll four, five, you. six, Just one. Hmm. Oh, apparently Gruff lives in Bergen. Are you going to go and see Gruff? Or is he do you? And see Gruff, do you really live in Bergen? Um, if you, do you want to go for a beer? Because, I mean, not just me and you, because that'd be a slightly odd. It's not, but, it's um, not a date. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, no. But um, what, I, what I really mean, I suppose, is that there's going to be a whole bunch of Blood Bowl uh, people um, going out for beers. Um, so you could, you, could, you could come along. Hello, Yessie, how are you, mate? And yeah, I, 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 I like that as well, the white surf attempt. You, you, we really, really, really need that as a clip on YouTube. Um, what else have we got to tell you? Because, um, by the way, it's not that Andy and I don't talk off stream, it's just that he tends to turn up about three seconds before we go live. So there's a lot Whoa, of stuff. Oh, that that's not true. Together. I don't turn up that early. Fucking hell. Two seconds before we go live. When you hear the music, that's Andy sitting down. It's not nor it's not normally, but it, it has been. We ended up so Andy, you're taking Ava on a holiday that's basically a blood bowl tournament, and whilst you're there, you're going out on the piss with lads. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I guess so. Um Yeah, did did Gruff say what he wanted to do? Uh uh, do that or did Gruff say no fuck that that sounds really weird I just heard a door slam and feet receding down the corridor oh right okay oh, fair enough well, he, well, it's, we, it's we, not we, until well, later she, in the week by might, the way she, she might start to see Sage there's a lot of that about mate <laughs> well he's a good looking boy you know can't, no denying it yeah Gruff he says he may or may not be available hmm. fair enough well, you know, have a few drinks, see where it leads. Yeah. No, <laughs> that's really bad. No, no, no. It, but it, in all seriousness, if you if you want to come and um, if you want to do that, that'd be that'd be great. If you don't, see, you know, that, that's like that. That's like that question where you put him on the spot and say, Andy, the house is on fire, and you can save three things. <laughs> you know that Andy's there with eight <laughs> pairs of headphones, just choosing which is his favourite three. Whilst Ava's hammering on the window, going, "I can't get out." <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's not true. What you could true. do that's is true. hand her two pairs of headphones to hold, so you'd actually oh, save yeah. more headphones. Yeah. yeah, yeah. No, I'd, I'd, she'd have to hold. She'd have to hold way more than just two pairs to make it worthwhile. So it, it. Oh dear, she would have made it out, but she was completely burdened by nine pairs of headphones. <laughs> oh no! A tragedy. Oh, oh! Turn over, tastic. You'd have to make your own tea. Yeah, that's true. Whoa, whoa, whoa! I don't want to do that. Fuck that! No, 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 no. We was a right little staring what's it, isn't he? Right, how are we going to get ourselves out of this particular mess? So if I blitzed here, I could then walk you there, I can block that. Um, I'll take the 3 plus and I'll throw it to the other vampire. Oh, is it your turn again? Oh, I was going to ask yeah. you something, and now it's your turn again. Yeah. Uh, how's it? How's it? How are you looking? Yeah, I well, I mean, we want to we want to score with Bush Ranger, don't we? He, he's the right elf for me. Uh, yeah. Right. Okay. We have a plan. Oh, for f love of God, stop rolling bad block dice! Oh, come on! <laughs> This is. I'm, I'm like. I just Deep need breath. a push. I just need a push. These really are being spectacularly obstructive. The simplest things denied. Yeah, well, oh well. Well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> right, okay. Now it's not your turn anymore. Sorry to rub salt into that wound. Um, 
Uh, what I was going to ask you, um, how how uh, familiar are you with Total Warhammer, the first one? Did you play much? Uh, a bit. I played the Empire. I really enjoyed playing Empire. Um, so you've got the basics. You, yeah, you've yeah, got the basic I, concept. Of, right, okay. Yeah, yeah, I understand it. I, um, I really, really, really enjoyed playing Empire. Um, the others, not so much. Um, well, the, there's, there's <clears> four <throat> races to choose from, and each of them have got two legendary lords that you can choose from. So what I'd, I'd, I was thinking as the most obvious entertainment thing to stream is that we choose one race and each pick a legendary lord from that race and play as co-op. Oh, the way yeah. that works is, um, let's say you play Dark Elf Lord 1 and I play Dark Elf Lord 2. It's your go. During your go, I can faff about on my stuff. But if you have a battle, uh, we will see you in 15, 20 minutes. Good luck, mate. See you in a bit. Um, if we have a battle, which is the you know the, the, the exciting bit, um, you've got twenty units typically in a full stack. Yeah. You can say, right, well these five units I give to your control. Okay. So, for example, you, you'd have your your lord, the infantry, and you maybe give me the cavalry and the artillery thing. Yeah, yeah. and then oh, we, okay, you you fight the battle together, and then it's my turn, and then we do our bits, and then. So it, I think that would be relatively watchable. I have played offline uh, campaign co-op, and it was uh, it was pretty good. I would suggest we had to go first um, rather than just try and learn on on the hoof. Yeah. Um, it's a lucky shit. I'm mm, 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 mm. lucky fuck. So, so far, does does that appeal to you? And if it yeah, doesn't, yeah. say so. No, no, I, 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 I'm not pressing to do this. It's just for the reasons we talked about. I think it could be interesting addition. Um, plus, I mean, all the stuff that we've got with naming players and Blood Bowl, you've got the same options in um, in Total War. So you know, you you would have. Um, you know, Skaven Grey Overseer we were if you really wanted to. I know, not really. Just, it was an example, an example. Um, so, you've got four playable races um, initially. Oh, hello, Ev. Well done on the haircut. Can everybody give uh, Ava marks out of 10 for Andy's haircut, by the way? And th bear in mind, this is scoring Ava, not on does Andy <laughs> look good or not. Just, just saying. This is not easy. Well, Pseudo will probably call it Total Friends Warhammer. Um, that's a very good suggestion. We'll have that. So, you've got four races to choose from. Um, Skaven, Lizards, High Elf, or Dark Elf. Have you any preference? And I will go and make sure I have a go with the requisite race beforehand. Because there is new mechanics. It's not Complete um, rocket science, but there is. I'm, I'm, I mean, watching streams, I've th there's been a few things I've thought. I wonder what that does and how does that work? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't want to sound you up. I think I do. One, two, three, four, five, six. If I hit note that. Uh, Ramaset, um, sort of. Uh, Warhammer 2 Total War is uh, a standalone sequel. However, in the near future, if you own both Warhammer 1 and Warhammer 2, you can play a, uh, a, a, a mega campaign that involves both maps and all the races from both 1 and 2 in one mega sort of campaign. But the map on two is already pretty big so um just yeah sort of it, it's certainly it's not just an expansion it is a, a, a totally new sequel 
but they will be uh, having that unusual thing um, that you get to play everything together, which I think sounds really good. Oh, hey, Stuart DJJ, welcome to the show, and thank you for the follow. An old, old pal from uh, Cola and UK Bubble. Stu, welcome aboard, Sunshine. Gotcha. Uh, morbid Orbits, I, I, honestly, I don't know. I don't know if there was one. I, I have pre-ordered, and you get all four races, so I didn't look into it. Go on. Hello, Stu. Uh, Stu DDJ probably tuned in because um, we're playing each other directly after this. Oh, you git. Um, oh, no, Do Domin's right. If you pre-ordered Warhammer 2, you got Norska for Warhammer 1. And that was a couple of months ago, which were quite fun actually. Bit bit OP if I'm if I'm honest. But how much do I want to push this? Yeah, go on. <laughs> no, the the, the Ramaset, they're all they're all all four playable races are included. Um, there's no DLC or pre-order stuff other than the Norska, which uh, that that ship's pretty much sold. But it's out Thursday, so um, I think that's most of all I've got to say about. Total Warhammer. Um, what do you think? First reaction, Andy? Yeah, it's, it sounds good. I, um, high elves, I suspect, are all about the archers. Um, kinda. They have very strong archers, but they've got other stuff as well. Their their infantry. They're they're, they're about high quality and expensive. Is, oh, is yeah. how I describe them. Yeah. Um, dark dark elves are also high quality and expensive with some really nice mechanics. I mean, they, they can get a black arc. Um, kind of battleship that parks itself off the coast and can can, um, can contribute to battles that you're fighting by doing offshore bombardments. And that it's basically it's a floating city that you can build and recruit corsair units on, and they look cool as fuck. They really do. Well, dark elves is my go-to race in gen generally in in Warhammer. It's my favourite race because um, at at heart I'm an elf. Um, I've always enjoyed elfing, um, and I also prefer evil elves versus I prefer evil over good, generally speaking. Um, so, I guess dark elf number one is mecha mechanic number one, uh, and then after that, high elves, not skaven because I just dislike skaven immensely all of the time, whenever, ever, ever. Yeah, I mean, I can go with Dark Hills. I'll be What's honest, I've favorite? seen quite a bit of. Well, I haven't played it yet because it's not out till Thursday. But the pre, the preview people who are streaming it, um, sorry, uploading recordings to YouTube, um, all four races <laughs> look really good. So any any one that you'd pick would have been great. Um, and I mean, if you get a taste for it, and more importantly, if the viewers go, "Hey, this is quite an interesting uh, watch," yeah. and you know, if if we get five people tuning in, we'll probably knock it on the head. <laughs> but if it proves to be a, a um, you know a hit, we'll we'll keep doing it. Though Blood Bowl will remain the by far and away the main focus. Yeah. We'll see. Um, Okay, well, look, what I'll do, I'll I'll have a go and get my head round so I'm up to speed. Should you have any questions, I'll be able to answer them. Then we need to have a go just to make sure we can get the setup right and make sure it all works seamlessly. And then just give it a go, shall we? <laughs> uh, yeah, that sounds great. Sorry, pseudonym's just being um, delightful. Pseudo's to just just cheered some bits there thank you very much mate um i've got a lot of marks for the effort on the haircut it's your face that most people don't like mate so sorry oh right that. oh well it's not a lot i can do there okay no. Roncotius, welcome to the show my friend are, are you um have you discovered us via the gift of youtube wonderful have you aboard Uh, Ramasek asks, will my league games be streamed whilst Andy's away? Um, how long are you away for, by the way? Five days. And you go on Wednesday, Thursday? Um, Thursday. Thursday afternoon. Are we streaming next Tuesday? Uh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Right. So the, 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 the key bit for this then, folks, is that Tonight 
is the last stream until next Tuesday because he's abandoned you all. I mean, it's his choice, you know. Treat your fans like shit, and I mean, you know, look look at Ariara Grande. But it works for her, so. Um, <laughs> so will I be streaming my games? Uh, probably not, because they would have to be on Tuesday night. Um, so maybe one at a push. Um, Duran asks, when does OCC start? Uh, I th think Wednesday, maybe. Um, we're at the stage at the moment where everybody's signing up into the leagues. I, I can look it up for you, though. Right. Where am I going to go with this ball carrier? Hello, Def Bell. How are you? So... Um, Sudo, I saw Sudo's given me enough money for a hat. Thanks very much. I don't think this haircut looks particularly bad at all. I tell you what we could do, Andy, if folks really, 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 really are interested, is if we don't cover my games, um, we could do the replays, um, you know, and have a half an hour replay summary. Would that work? Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, absolutely. Um, right. We didn't take very long if we do it that way. So, um, if, 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 if I've got a replay file on my computer, can you you can watch it, can't you? You can play it live. Um, yeah, because you can go well, to the uh, division and <coughs> yeah, look yeah. at the look at the um, you know match history and click that. That yep. would play a game for you, wouldn't it? Uh, no, Amto, yes, there is. Right after this, uh, we've got Stu DJJ, um, yes. who's in the channel. Gives a wave, Stu. Uh, oh. He's playing uh, Andy's um, Chaos team in Prem. It's not. Say, it's East. Well, it's not quite. That's not. Qu I'm fucking lucky. Uh, it's not quite true. Um, when I say it's UK well, it's the first round of the FA Cup. So you'll get to see my Chaos team taking on um, and hopefully dismantling a Dwarf team. Um, so it's the FA Cup. So it's not. Qu it is UKBL, but it's not quite. If that makes sense. It's the FA Cup. I thought you weren't it, it after that Tim oh. Pot Trophy, as you called it. Yeah, I know. But I was did you get bullied into joining it? Yeah, you did, did didn't you? you? Okay, I can understand that. You're under a lot of pressure. Um, Lyricean uh, says, for anybody who likes special dice, my friend has a campaign for casualty dice. And link below. <laughs> Thank you for that. <laughs> Oh, excuse me. Uh, Ali, good evening. Hello, mate. Um, and Roncotius, you, you are most welcome, my friend. You're most welcome. And re regarding running Blood Bowl 2, um, if you ever do get close to thinking about buying a new machine, um, Come on. it doesn't require anything particularly tough, does it? So hopefully you'll rejoin us in OCC, mate. Is, no, is, he, is it happened again? Has Nuffle decided to shit in your breakfast? Uh, yeah, broadly. It's not. It's not. Yes, but he's done it by um, two dice powering the ball carrier again. Just haven't had any breaks this match day. Which is annoying. So we're relying rather a lot on some some bullshit dice now. They're pretty, those Lyrocene. Can, can people buy those? Oh, Pseudo, that, that's, that's harsh, harsh punditry there. It, it was worth it because that, that surf was so elegant. And had, had we not had seriously bad fortune, like the, the 1 in 81 fail... It would have been at no um, opportunity cost involved to winning the game. It was things conspired, but no, I think if we had the time over again, we'd have done the same thing. Yeah, yeah. So, gotcha. you know, come on, that was that was worth it, man. That was a really exotic uh, surf that even even after Andy told me what he was going to do, I was still going, what now? 
Ah, uh, he's he's got away with it. We bloodlusted at the wrong time. Right. So if if anybody plays tabletop and fancies some dice, um, the link Larisian's posted up just there. You can get some these new dice. dice. Are shit. These dice are really shit. Yeah, I'd do it again. I, I did. I as I said in the when I did it, I misplaced one player um when I did it and it meant that the ball was on the floor. Um the ball should have been in the hands of the vamp. Since then I think it's gone mostly badly, I think. But you go you get games like this, don't you? These are the ones where, you know, hopefully we'll still win it. Um and then you come out of it at the end and go, oh look, it's gone alright. Um, no, we're not out of vampires. Count slowly to ten is uh, taking a nap on the halfway line. It'll it'll be fine. Yeah, I mean it's still not it's still not fucked. It it just should it's, it's a bit yeah. fucked. But it'll be fine. It'll be think of look, you've you've overcome greater obstacles than this. Right, so what else do we want to talk about? Um, okay, as, as you as you folks um, know, we, we usually stream Tuesday nights, Thursday nights, Saturday morning and Sunday evening. Andy, have you any particular preference when you would like to start doing the Warhammer bits? No. Saturday, uh, morning? Saturday morning night, actually. Sorry, I'm still... I'm, I'm so... So it... Concentrated in engrossed in this. Um, All right. Um, you, you, you concentrate. On that. Yeah, Saturday morning probably. Uh, well. Oh well. Right. So that'll be one nil. Because like, I literally can't do anything to him now. Oh, that was silly. He shouldn't have done that. Uh, well, now you can. It's not brilliant, and you need to stop rolling ones and shit. But um, you got one dice on it. Hello, Advark. You're right, mate. Uh, Dolce and uh, I, I'm not sure what Broken Face is um, planning to do there. I think I think he is trying to score. Um, the only drawback is, has he got time? Right, right he'll need a double go for it to reach. So if Andy can do a push, we're golden. Oh, we haven't. Oh, hey, I've just brought you some scram. So the point of that was to hypnogaze that, so I don't know, I, I get two dice block, but... Is that ball carrier? Oh, right, okay, so we only need a push. Yep. All right, well, in that case... Man, hey. So five in six is fine. Hey! There you go. All oh, you're looking one dice roll. <laughs> Hello, fiction. You're right, buddy. Uh, it, it does take him out of range, too, though. He was nine squares away, so that would make it ten, which is a tough range for Aussie players. Thank you very much, by the way. If you're still around. You're welcome. I thought I said thank you. What's that? Great. Okay. Um, so this is tonight's tea. It's um, it's chicken and tuna um, pikelets. <laughs> it's not chicken and tuna. It's not. I'm kidding. It's not. It's got no tuna in it at all, apart from this one, which is basically tuna. Not, that they look like enchiladas, mate. Yeah, no, they are. They are indeed. They are enchiladas. So um, yeah. Nice. Hello, Flux streamer. You right, buddy? Well, thanks very much. Really nice. Mm -hmm.
Is there any more? I'm starving, by the way. Oh yeah, that's a surprise. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to feed the cat. He's declared he's starving as well. <clears throat> this is really nice. It's really spicy, though. Big KO rolls coming up. Do we get them back? Oh, we get three out of four. Very good. Actually, uh, we will go back to our original setup. Okay. Vamps are bloody slow. Hmm. Do you, do you, I've got a question for the stream. Does everyone think I eat on stream too often? We're back. Welcome back. Do you think I eat too much on stream? Uh, some people find it amusing, um, and some people think you're a twat. Um, so you can't please everyone. I've no opinion either way. Okay. Ask the viewers. Their, their opinion is more important than mine. In this respect. <laughs> I'm just laughing at Gruff. <laughs> yeah. It has become a. It has become a thing where I seem to eat on all the streams, um, but that's because typically what happens is I get home from work, I spend about twenty minutes with my good lady, uh, and then I end up having to stream. I end up having to, like it's a chore. <laughs> uh, I I can cook actually. I'm, I'm, I'm about due to uh, do another uh, round of freezer cooking because I've eaten all that bolognese and chili that I made. Um. Oh, just going off on a complete tangent. Is there any UK BBL admins um, in the in the audience tonight? If so, please uh, please alert your nearest um, usher. What do you need? Um, Diderino's uh, his PC's balked, or my my old one. Um, and it's in the, the menders, he gets it back, but he's due to sign up to UK Bubble, so it was basically just to get an admin to let he, whoever is league admin know that um, he's having problems but does intend to join and sorry for being a bit late. What he could do is he could give you his username and password and you can sign up for him. Uh, that is true. Dudorino, are you still with us, old boy? These are damn good enchiladas. Ah, right, okay. Stew is, uh, <coughs> Stew is in the channel. Oh, no, Anto, look, D Diderino's nearly as old as I am, mate. You'll, you'll never figure that out. 
Okay. Um, well, by sheer coincidence, um, oh, Dinoboto, hello. Andy, your opponent tonight is Stu DJ. Stu DJJ. He is Duderino's admin. So when Stu uh, comes back to the table, we can let Stuart know and do that. Okay. Um, Duderino, if you want to message me, um, if you're happy to do this, your username and password, I can log in for you. Promise I won't do anything like create a team that are all really offensive or anything like that. Fellow help here. Hello, buddy. How are you? <clears throat> oh, good evening. It's nice to see you again. Um. Hmm. Dol Dolcian's absolutely right. This could have been going so very much worse, considering. Mm. Um, I wouldn't. I wouldn't have said the dice you've had were terrible. Um, from start to finish, but at every key moment, um, they failed spectacularly. So, in a worst case scenario, we could be one nil down, and we're not. Yeah, it, it, yeah, exactly. It's, it's, and I've actually looked at his block dice and and thought, well, they, they, they could have been. Um, his block dice could have been loads better than ours. One, two, three, four, five. Mm. Um, so, yeah, he hasn't had spectacular fortune either. No, quite quite, quite so. Um, in fact, we commented, and if we'll give us a little take of the way. Mighty Zonk, good evening. Uh, Magyarkin, um, I did actually, yes. Why do you ask? See you, Owls. Hello, mate. Oh, pseudonym, I know. That's a, it's a terrible choice to make, isn't it? Hmm. Oh, dear. Do I re-roll this or do I leave it? I think we'll leave it. I, I'm not. I'm not sure, Mag Young, because <coughs> I, I, tu I tuned into maybe the last half an hour, but it, it didn't seem to end on a high. I think that's that's fair to say. So I, I, I wasn't really sure Who's what, that? Had, uh, what had happened there. Um, we were just watching. Um, oh, Jimmy's talk, talk about Jimmy's show today, but he, he didn't seem to enjoy himself. Oh, well, which okay. I mean, he, he was. He, he has been recently. I was I was watching a YouTube one where he was absolutely top form. Um, but um, yeah, today didn't seem to go too well. But I don't know why. I, I didn't uh, tune in early enough to, to catch what was uh, what was causing uh, causing the pain. Bloody hell! Three dice, no knockdown. That's about what eight. That's about a ten percent chance, I think. Hello, Lowen. Um, yeah. Um, column defense against Kemri. Um, yeah, Kemri just slow and rubbish. So. Um, yeah, that would work. Probably with all teams. <laughs> right, he's now committed to one side. I'm very interested to see where Brain, Brain Basher, the Bludge Ghoul, goes. Because um, it's absolutely a thing that... Uh, he could, in theory, uh, try and switch on us. And we're not very quick, so um, we don't want that. Huanchi asks, um, while we're using the detailed dice log, um, it's rather crap and confusing. Um, I take a wild what? guess. It's probably because Andy's not explored the options and looked at the alternative. Why? What's the difference? Looked at the options and explored the alternative. <laughs> okay, let's have a look. Uh, options settings. All right, I've just changed it. Let's see what it does. I have no idea. Yeah, look, this is this is a coach that's going to try and switch a roo on us.
Um. Stand up that thrall. Oh, right, okay, I'm with you. Z Zonk, Zonk was uh, doing what I do and not pay attention and assumed we were playing against Kemri. Though, I, I mean, there's, there's a couple of mummies, so I can see why at a casual glance you'd think that. Um, I mean, you're not. Did you adopt a column defence on purpose or did it kind of just pan out like that? Just kind of how it ended, I think. There's there's a lot of um, scorn poured on column defences, but I don't think there's an any, anything inherently wrong with them. If I'm honest, they're, they're certainly quite effective. When I when I've been playing, you know, orcs or chaos against agility teams, a, a column defence is something that is not the easiest to get past. It's not. It, it absolutely is not easy to get through. Um, oh, right. See so what you mean, Hanshi. I, yeah, I've got the simple log. Um, it's probably best, isn't it? I'm a simple man. If that goes down, we can then dodge these out. put him there protecting this guy right that's pinning him in a little bit I think I've gone a little bit too heavy on the pin to be honest uh, Dolceand asks um, yeah. how do you get to keep the players live against um, high TV chaos um, what, what team are you playing uh, Dolce Magyarkin, that that is an option. Though if it's a private league, you you probably can't. Uh, Roncotius, um, that is also viable. Fouling, get them on the ground and foul them. I don't that vampire is it, uh, that vampire is blocking me from making a three plus dodge. Okay. Um, what? Yeah. What team was he playing against? Is the high T value chaos? Because generally speaking, the chaos will uh, be claw mighty below piling on. Um, so the the way to deal with it is you foul it with the dirty player. Um, that's the 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 general strategy. Um, yeah. Foul the killing thing. Um. General point of strategy. Um, I think here I've gone too heavy on defending the sideline and so now he's going to try and cut inside. Um, if he doesn't cut inside, I'm very interested to see what he does, but I think I then become favourite. Um, what what you'd probably do, Dolce, is uh, with your inducements. Oh God, actually no. Is this? I don't know if this is fixed yet. Is the dirty player induced mercenary fixed, or is it still broken like it was last week when we were trying it? Yeah, that that I don't know actually. I'm sh I'm sure I saw Jimmy playing with a, a an induced dirty player, and he didn't seem to be having any problems. But what, what you would typically do is either have a dirty player or induce one Dolce and also buy a bribe, assuming that you got, yeah. say, maybe 250 inducements. Then you you pick a player, and it doesn't have to be the best one, but but certainly a valuable one, isolate them, uh, and then gang foul them. And, and the high elves are actually quite good at lending assists because of the mobility. Yeah. Uh, a dirty player is probably probably more effective than a chainsaw I would right. say against Chaos because if you're trying to kill a Chaos Warrior you've got to break armor 9 um, 
uh, elves don't get chainsaws. And of course, elves don't get chainsaws. <laughs> yeah, of course, I knew that. <coughs> Didn't. <clears throat> okay, right. So, what do we want to do here? Well, it's me. I want to surf something. That's what I want to do here. Other stuff you can generally do, Dolce, is avoid base-to-base -base contact wherever possible. If he bases you up, try and withdraw, um, doing safe moves first, then dodge the dodge pieces so that aren't marked with tackle, etc., etc. Avoid getting in a punch-up. The other thing you can do is spread out, um, as if you're in a huddle, if they surround you and corral you into a ball of death, that's bad news. So spread the play, uh, another broadly good piece of advice. So go deep with the ball when you've got it, throw catches forward, make him go and mark people all over the pitch. That will help you a bit. Um, Fall over, yes. A lot of it depends on what skills the Chaos team's got. If they've got Tackle, Frenzy, Claw, Mighty Blow piling on all in one player, he's a problem. But Chaos don't tend to have a lot of Tackle pieces. Um, so you might get away with Blodge bailing you out. Uh, Ablin asks, Zunk, if one wants to get into Total War Warhammer series, do you suggest Let's Play or Twitch channel um, before you two get to play it together? Um, honestly, mate, I, I would go and have a look at YouTube videos of a guy called Surreal Beliefs, which is a f funny name, I know, but if you search YouTube for Surreal um, Beliefs, he's done loads of Warhammer 1, and indeed he's doing now Warhammer 2 Let's Plays, and these videos are entertaining, and he knows how to play. So if, if you want uh, a bit of pre-game um, you know, insight. I, I choose him. I'll, I'll type it in chat so you know it's spelled. In fact, go one further because I've got him as a YouTube favourite, so I will link you his channel. And he's no idea I'm doing this for them. Isn't this kind of me? <laughs> There you go, buddy. Um, he's good. I like him. Um, give us a mo, Andy. I'm just going to see if I can uh, help Diderino out and log his team into uh, UK Bubble. Okay. Let's save the admins a bit of grief. We'll, we'll mention it to, to Stu as well, so uh, he'll be uh, aware that Diderino is slightly delayed. Right, now the big move. Oh, you lucky boy. Who's a lucky Andy? Oh, Duderino, which team um, are we talking about? Um, is it the four stun? Dwarf technique. <laughs> <laughs> every well, time. Every time. There. Every time. Keep a lid on it. Dear. It was like having a young girl scream. <laughs> every time. Sorry, Just... I wasn't expecting that because I wasn't watching. Um, right, D Duderino. Four, four stunned dwarf technique. Elf team. Uh, which league do you wish to join, old boy? Uh, it wasn't greedy. That was not greedy. <laughs> the greedy thing was um, the knockdown on the mummy here with the one dice. Um, because by f knocking it down and following it up, you then made the blitz two dice. That's fine. And then I was looking for a four in six um, on the following block. So... Um, I kept getting just the right thing that happened, and then um, literally the last dice roll was the wrong one. Oh, you, you're getting a lot of unhappy punters there. Harsh, though. Come on, crowd, get behind your team. 
Yeah, it, it happens. It does. This this sort of shit happens. I, it's it's a percentage based game, and I go for it all the time. Um, and these percentages are like 70, 80, 90 percent likely to happen. So therefore, 10, 20, 30 percent of the time, you're gonna have a little sad Andy on your screen. Luckily, I get over it fairly quickly. Uh, and we now have kittens with fluffy mittens, which does mean um, we can have a steak and ale pie soon. Uh, Gruff, thank you for that, though I don't seem to be able to join the league. It says uh, Conference South has got eight out of eight registered teams in it. Ah, oh, bulls. <laughs> Right, well, what I'll do, I'll uh, wait until Stu shows up and he might be able to say he's got a placeholder team in there waiting for Diderino. That could be it, maybe. Ah, yes, there is a ticket, sorry. OCC didn't use the tickets. Ah, it says he's in Conference Midlands. There we go. Conference Midlands. You are joined up, Dudorino. It's good when something happen like that happens. <coughs> there we go. Mission accomplished. Gruff, Dudorino, wonderful. Thank you, Gruff. Grindle, hello, buddy. How you doing? Fall over, fall over, fall over, fall over. Yes. So, what do we need to do here? We need to do some bullshittery. We've got the one dice surf on. Uh, Dudorino, that's entirely fine and totally viable. So, yeah, we can, mate. Oh, Vilnich. God's sake, multitasking here. Hang on. There you go. <laughs> Hello, Lonnie. Why is that too uphill? I tell you, Villy keeps his up me on my toes, doesn't he? Hello, Spuddy. Uh, yes, it is. And he's all signed up now, Spuddy, so uh, mission accomplished. And, yeah... Paul, if it, if the PC is still booked, um, anytime you like, mate. Um, I am largely flexible, um, as it were. So, um, well, you'll be able to talk to your admin because he'll be on um, shortly. Okay, okay, good. Oh no, better than good. That, that, my little friend... That'll be a surf then. <clears throat> that, my little friend, is a little surf. With a, with a vamp or one dice with a thrall? Uh, I'm going to take one die with a thrall, I think. Um, okay. Right, guys, please, <laughs> please. Look, look, we're looking for blue or yellow ones. Red ones are right out. Blues or yellows? Blues or yellows? Blues or yellows? Blues or yellows? Blues is fine. There we go. That will do. That will do, Piggy. Fuck for that. Now, if you could throw the ball into the centre circle, uh, we need Duca here. Where is Duca, by the way? I haven't seen him for ages. He's oh. vanished. 
Oh, okay. Where's the ball going? Uh, no, that's not um, oh. at all. <laughs> not at all where we wanted it. Bad ball. <sighs> Fuck. <laughs> okay. These are not the balls you were looking for. Um. Um. <laughs> shit. <laughs> In fact, on the floor would have been even, would have been yeah, less bad than that, really, wouldn't it? Yeah, and, uh, yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Okay. Free hypno gaze. Now, what do I gaze? I think the ghoul. He's probably busy or something. McNaughton no, or no, PC buggered or something, eh? But no, he used to enjoy Duca coming round. He used to look after the ultras in the crowd. That was uh it's good good lad having having Duca on board. Alright, so I can hit the bludge goal or I can hit that zombie. I think we're gonna hit the zombie. Oh, could hit the bludge ghoul. Ooh, armor break. That's helpful. That's helpful. Um, what is mildly interesting here? Um is this white that's um hypnoed um yes and this ghoul that is uh marking being marked by a tackle piece um he hasn't got easy outs as it were to get the ball back it's not impossible but it's um not in, in not insane so he can knock him over but then what yeah yeah. 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 So knocking him over is fairly trivial. It's just that, and then what uh, is the challenge? Um, Ducky won't be coming back to this chat because he's been stolen by someone else. That's very upsetting. What? What do you mean, pseudo? He didn't watch both. Yeah. We're not. An, we're not precious about our viewers. I mean, we like we like them to stay, but. Well, no, and I, I can reassure um, those those of you who are big fans of Sage and watch his stream regularly that due to um, a fantastic piece of um, diplomacy, uh, Davo TV and the Sage Blood Bowl channel on Twitch will not be screened at the same times, uh, pretty much. Mm. Um, so you won't have to choose. You can do both if you want like to. I think what Pseudo's probably alluding to is that I may or may not have been on Sage's uh, guest host yesterday. That could oh. be what he's I'm not sure. It was a bit subtle, that one. Uh, Mummy TD Inc. I don't fucking think so. <clears throat> He's got a mildly interesting fact about this game. If Andy were the longest recorded flight by a chicken, he would be 13 seconds. Is that because he's unlucky in places? I don't get it. <laughs> Sorry. They're never as good when you've got to explain them, are they? No. Are we going to be able to get the ball off the mummy quite happily? Uh, no. <laughs> Happily, no. Uh, possible, maybe. <sighs> Fellas, I'm not. I'm, <laughs> I can't get drawn into discussions of the relative quality or merits of other channels, apart from Lupac. Why would other people want to? Well, that's really mean. I'm upset now. Oh, and that Fash fella, he's terrible as well. <laughs> I 
Okay, Ramaset says, what would you take for a second double on a goblin who'd already got block? Sure hands. <laughs> sure hands, sure hands, sure hands. S send in to buy a lottery ticket, but yeah, sure, sure hands, that sounds all right. Well, that's good. You get strip ball, viable. Yeah, but sure hands. So he's deliberately put that ghoul next to the mummy so he can hand off to the ghoul next turn. Um, I'm just trying to work out how on earth I take that assist off that ghoul out of the equation. Well, I suppose I don't need to, do I? I could just one, two, three, blitz, blitz. I can just do a shitload of up uphill blocks. F fellas, just to be clear, I'm not being mean about Lou Pack. It was to illustrate a joke. I had to pick somebody to say I would never say anything bad about anyone except insert name here, and he just happened to draw the short straw. We know Lou Pack quite well from our uh, OCC and UK bubble days. Is um is is Lou still doing Albion? By the way, is that is that still going strong? I think so. I think he's still mining Simulator Tastic. Oh dear, now that was with Tums and he didn't like that. No. That was bad, that one. But it lets me do this. Which is important. That was important. Well, yeah, I mean, it's, it's that's probably a fair comment to Anchi, but um, didn't the makers of... Uh, Albion actually hire him professionally to do it. And as Lupac's been doing professional streaming full time, it's probably not a bad move, is it? So, no, all power to him. He does have dreadful taste in music, man. Just saying. Nisu, thank you very much for that. I've no idea what it means, but it looks terrific. Do I go there? Uh, RS2000, that's a fair point. If you were going for strip ball, you'd have taken wrestle to the block. Yeah, fair point. Gotcha. Oh, Nisu, I, I was there thinking that might have been you've just revealed the meaning of life, the universe and everything in cryptic script. You know, some sort of ancient text. I was hoping Pseudo would jump in and translate it for me as, um, you know, sort of resident intellectual. You see, now, now, who was saying Ducky wasn't coming back? Because, hello, Ducky. He's here. Ducky. Here's Ducky. Hang on. Right, let's see where this, this ends up. Can we have red dice in the stream? Hello, Ducky. You all right, Sunshine? So the ball's on a bludger. The bludger. Ramaset makes a good point that whenever you, you're skilling up a goblin, making long-term plans is, is probably not that much of a thing. <laughs> no, it's probably not. Life expectancy. Well, what time is it now? You know. <laughs> Thank you, Pseudo. Nisa's message translates as the longest recorded flight by a chicken is 13 seconds. Hmm. Okay, I don't understand that, but okay. Well, do you know what else? We were talking when, um, oh, a few weeks back, um, that uh, I was asked the question about uh, you find a turtle in the desert, but you don't turn it over. Why is that? And I didn't get it. And of course, of course. Of course, it was Leon's tested Blade Runner. It was just because we were doing too many things at once. So I'm so sorry I didn't pick up on that one, Pseudo. That was a very good film reference. Oh, uh, okay. I still don't get it. It's a film you haven't seen, mate. Oh, right. That's why I don't get it, because I have no idea what you're talking about. Fantastic. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Kittens with fluffy mittens. Is it a European or an African chicken? <laughs> <laughs> hang on. Hang on. Have we got both, have we got both sets of kittens in the, in the chat? Uh, we've definitely got kittens with fluffy mittens. Have we got have steak? We got, have we got steak, mit steak? steak mittens? I want to know if steak dinner mittens. Are you here? 
Steak mittens with kittens. Microwavable, microwavable meals. Because I don't think they met last time. I think they were... I swear it's there. They've, it's the same guy with two different accounts. So, yeah. Um, Zonk, how how are you feeling about this being the last stream of the um, of September? How are you feeling about that? Well, it's a bit of a blow. You're going on holiday. Are you alluding to this is your last opportunity to take advantage yeah! of September? Um. No, that but joy at that, at that block success, <laughs> the fact that I twigged that you were alluding to September. September, subtastic. Both. Yeah. Andy, what is September? <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I'm going to have to tune back into doing this again. Hang on a second. Um, All right. Just because just just he said it, if you were feeling like subbing to Darvo Vision. <laughs> This month only, Twitch have got a special offer on where you can do so for half price. You are under no obligation whatsoever to subscribe to our channel. We do this for the lols. But if you would like to show your appreciation, it would be eternally appreciated. And that's all I have to say on the matter. Now, bloody win this game, will you? I'm trying. I'm desperately trying. Right, what Bill Baz, hello, buddy. 10.14. Scurimezzo, how's it over in Boston, mate? Pseudonym, those are very wise words, mate. Who can argue with that? Andy Davo, September streams are ephemeral, like tears in the rain. <laughs> oh, no, oh, you've done that. War Gaming, <laughs> you are a star. Do you know, it, 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 it reassures me that I do still have some powers of persuasion, and one day I might get a job. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, my friend. And Ron and Linda, thank you too. <coughs> there we go. Right. So, what can still catch us? Well, that ghoul can still get us on two dice uphill. <laughs> Geeks of Wargaming isn't easily led. No, but you're clearly a man of discerning taste. You can join pseudonym as and, and, and Huanchi and Scarametta as other men of great taste and discernment. So thanks, fellas. Let's hypnogaze that. Cool. We were, we were talking about, and I swear to God, this isn't in, this isn't trying to talk folks into subbing honest, but we, we were talking about um, if we get to 100, we'll, we'll do another raffle. So <laughs> don't tell Weewa, though, eh? Hey? Where's keep Weewa? Yeah. Where is he's Weewa? Not, he's, not on, he's not on at the minute. He's nipped off, so don't tell him. Because it's vitally important that he only finds out about it afterwards. Oh, do I rate? Do I make the two plus to then bite that thing? Yeah, I'm gonna. Uh, Geeks War Gaming, would you care to pop a link to your YouTube channel in the chat, please, mate? And I will follow it and. Having no idea what it's like because I haven't looked yet, but I would heartily recommend everybody else does too if they've got any interest in YouTube. So yeah. please link it what, in the chit chat, mate. What what war gaming is it? I mean, I assume it is war gaming. Um, I'm hoping it's Total Warhammer. I yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah. What what is it? Um, it is five minutes of fame where we we'll talk about we we'll talk about you geeks. So what is it? Because I'm interested in war gaming a little bit from a point of view of I've never done it. Um, as, long as, as long as you're not Skaven. Yeah. Uh, uh, the, the just out for the drive, Ronco, which is which yeah. is lucky because we seem to be doing it quite a lot. Yeah, it was a. So what I chose to do there was it was don't roll a, a, a one, um, so I can make the go for it because positionally having a vamp in this square here was massive. Um, maybe with hindsight, I should have just I should have just settled for being there, but ah oh well. Um, as it is, all I need to do now is, um, yeah, if he doesn't take me down this turn, which it's not looking like he's going to, oh, oh dear, please be okay, it's fine, um, I, I, I sacrificed a little bit of, 
Uh, I took a bit of a chance for some position positioning, and it didn't work. The dice went no. So they're welcome to do so. So anyway, what is this Geeks War Gaming? Let's have a read. Uh, mainly 40k's. Okay. Um, you know, 40k. I, I live in so I live in Nottingham, and Games Workshop's head office, as many of you might already know, uh, is in Nottingham. And occasionally they go to their um, their board gaming stuff, and um, we get to look at it. And what, uh, there's two things that really interest me: Necromunda, because I remember it from when I was a kid, possibly the greatest board game ever. Um, and you see an awful lot of um, 40k. It Bloody hell, cool. Geeks War Game! You've got over eight thousand followers on YouTube. You're <laughs> You're famous. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Geeks War Gaming, would you like to promote us? We've done this totally the wrong way around. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah. Oh, we have we have a celebrity who's a nice. He's very subtle, isn't he? Andy, you know, in your in your YouTube page, you've, been, <laughs> you've got promoted channels, and at the moment we've got VGP. Oh yeah, yeah. The only one. Kick him out, replace him. <laughs> <laughs> well, put Geeks War Game in, in. Well, you see, you can still see VGP as a sub. So yeah. let, let's do that. And let's let's promote it a bit. So yeah, uh, so yeah, you, you, Geeks you expect literally tens of new followers following uh, <laughs> following that. So uh, there you go, buddy. You can probably retire now, can you? Ah, oh, right. Um... Pseudo. When the longest recorded flight of a chicken at 13 seconds um, took place, what distance would that be? I'm, I'm guessing around 301 feet, but I don't really know. Oh, so which way around am I going to do this? Am I going to do this if don't roll a double one? Oh, dearie me. Don't roll a double one. Yeti, Andy's favourite board game is Necromunda. Yeah, it was very good, that game. Very, very good. Muir started Malifaux, which I don't know what that is, but it sounds fantastic. Oh. Geeks War Gaming has just been from a tournament in Gibraltar. Wow, exotic. And it finished sixth. Well done, buddy. Oh, nice. Well done. How many, pe ah, how many people were there, though? Always, always worth quantifying these things. Hello, T. Pedro Jack Cluedo is pretty good, though. I do quite like Axis and Allies. It's kind of like Risk in long trousers. Is that is that the special uh, eighteen certificate version of Cluedo, Pedro Jack? <laughs> Delta, yes, Axis and ours is, is risk for gentlemen. Oh, it's risk for people with a lot of time on their hands. Lowenhurt seems to know quite a lot about that game. Geeks World Gaming is talking about. <laughs> uh, Pedro, we'll uh, yeah, we'll, we'll sort that out uh, just discreetly afterwards. Thanks, 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 man. Thanks, man. He's got the DVD of uh, the uh, 18 certificate Cluedo. Uh, okay, 18 certificate Cluedo. Wow. Uh, nothing, darling. You... We're not talking about anything at all. What? No, no. <laughs> No, I didn't. No, 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 no. Nothing at all. We were not talking about anything naughty. <laughs> How is it Radar Tabs here manages to walk past at just the wrong moment? What? What have I missed? <laughs> oh, nothing. Just, just, just Mrs. Davo just manages to pick up on, on chat now. <laughs> we not, we're not watching Game of Thrones. Behave. Um, no. Well, she's awake, so she's not watching Game of Thrones, because doesn't that make her go to sleep? 
doesn't doesn't like. Yeah, Game she of doesn't Thrones. like Game of Thrones. Yeah, um, she's gonna be mad. Don't she? Shush. Oh dear. No. Yeah. I think I should. No. <laughs> um. Oh, is, is, is yeah. Grindle's just taken a nasty one there, hasn't he? He has, hasn't he? He'll be alright. Yeah. Is he alright? I hope so. I hope so. Um. We, we definitely need some vanity passing amongst the uh, the villagers here. There's loads of them on five points. Oh, it was nicely worked by him. So I'm gonna, he's given me two chances to roll a double one to not win the game. If it was me, I'd I'd take I'd the. Take the um, sign. Um, well, Bushranger doesn't have block, does he? Uh, he does. Oh, sorry, no. It's it's Sully. It has got the ball. Yeah, yeah blitz. I'd, I'd, yeah, blitz. Just just don't don't roll thirsty. You've got you've got a re-roll, well you've got two actually, but you you can usually re-roll, do it. Come on. Come on. <laughs> yeah, we're fine. We made it. It'll be fine. Oh thank one. God for that. See, Sudo, this is all part of the master plan to make this entertaining. So, you know, it's been touch and go as to whether it'll all be alright in the end. And now it is. Phew! Are you going to run it in or just stand there preening? I'm going to tell him that it was streamed because I thought that was a... It was can, actually quite uh, a good game. Can you guys see Count Slowly the Ten's player card there on the stream? You can't, can you? Is it just me or does he look quite a lot like Shawnee? Put, imagine that with headphones on. You, oh, I'll tell you what. Have you ever seen them in the same room at the same time? <laughs> I told you that's very good. If you, if you lose load of thralls during a game, is that a vampiric victory? <laughs> <laughs> right, that's right for it's pseudo. I bet wish you'd said that, don't you? Yeah, I did. Yeah. <laughs> you, oh, you will, pseudo. You will. A A A B L N. Thank you very much, Ron and Linda. A thank you too. A Ablan, Ablan. Thank you very much for the follow. Uh, sorry, the <laughs> sub, indeed, my friend. Yeah, thank yeah. you very much indeed. Absolutely. Yeah, thank you very much. Oh dear. Last stream. See, last I told you that'd be all right. And yeah. Sun Sundisk got MVP, so he's one Woo. point off the uh, blockage. Hey. Oh dear. Right. Oh, we were. Oh, we want to reroll that one. Come on. Oh, still a one. Fair enough. Uh, that's really. That's that's quite good, though, isn't it? Now, now, careful, pseudo. This this is how rumours start, it? and you don't want to give. Uh, Jimmy, any cause for jealousy? Don't, don't imply that Andy and Shawnee have got a special relationship. You know that's that. Ooh, careful there. <laughs> there we go. Right. Okay. So we'll get. Well, I think we should come back to this. I'm really fucking enjoying vampires. Let's. 